Imagine being able to peek behind the curtain of reality. Not in science fiction, but in a real lab. For over a century, physicists have puzzled over a strange idea called the observer effect, the concept that simply watching a particle can change what it does. It's not just a spooky thought, it's backed by hard data. But recently, something incredible happened. Google's quantum core shattered that mystery wide open. Within just 5 nanoseconds of a groundbreaking experiment, researchers used Google's quantum processor to observe and predict particle behavior with incredible accuracy. This isn't a clickbait headline, it's real. Scientists were able to watch particles evolve without disturbing them, turning a mystery of physics into something you can actually measure. That means what we once thought of as a quirky side effect is now a controllable part of quantum systems. This experiment wasn't done on just any machine. It took place on a superconducting chip cooled close to absolute zero, allowing it to run delicate quantum simulations. In traditional experiments, observing a particle collapses its wave function, killing the very state scientists wanted to understand. But Google's team did something radical, they used entanglement-based probes to peek at particles mid-flight, while running parallel predictions of their future states. Measurement and prediction happened together, in real time. This blurred the line between observer and observed. It created a seamless loop where the act of watching wasn't an interruption, it was part of the system. This flips everything. It transforms the observer effect from a philosophical dead end into a precision tool. We can now guide quantum particles without collapsing their state, offering a new way to build error-free quantum computers. Let's go back to where this all started. In 1927, Werner Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle, stating that the more accurately you know a particle's position, the less you know about its momentum, and vice versa. That principle still stands. But it doesn't mean we have to give up on precision. In the 1980s, the first quantum computing researchers dreamed of harnessing observation itself. But technology wasn't ready yet. Then came Google. Their quantum team spent five years designing a chip capable of running real-time feedback loops. This allowed measurement and evolution to happen together, forming what's called active measurement. Instead of snapping a photo of a particle, it's like having a conversation with it. The chip listens and responds in real time. This leads us to the first new theory. What if observation isn't a barrier, but a bridge? Measurement and evolution may be two aspects of the same quantum event. With Google's chip, we're not just watching a particle settle into a state. We're nudging it along, in real time. This means future quantum systems could self-correct as they run, fixing errors before they even happen. Quantum sensors, for example, could adapt mid-measurement for maximum accuracy. Quantum processes could run stably and accurately without needing complex error correction after the fact. This could accelerate the arrival of practical quantum computing by years. But the implications go deeper. If we're steering quantum systems through observation, who or what is doing the steering? Does it involve consciousness? Are we building systems that respond to being watched like living things? In one test, Google scientists noticed a strange effect. Particles observed for longer started to, remember, they were being watched. They called this self-referential coherence. The longer they watched, the more stable the particles became in specific quantum states. Initially, they assumed a hardware glitch. But after repeated trials, the pattern held. Particles under entangled feedback loops behaved differently than ever seen before. Almost like learning from observation. Physicist Dr. Ananya Kaul from MIT commented, this could represent a new kind of physical law, one that only emerges under continuous observation. Meanwhile, Dr. Eric Lindstrom from Caltech remarked, it's like the quantum system is adapting to us. Could we be seeing new layers of physics, hidden in plain sight? Could this imply that observation isn't passive, that the universe adjusts to the observer in deeper ways than we thought? Let's explore the second interpretation. Some physicists believe this self-referential coherence points to hidden variables or undiscovered dimensions. Imagine reality as a multi-layered structure. What we measure is just a shadow of the full quantum landscape. By observing in smarter ways, we may be navigating between these layers of reality. Others are skeptical. 
Some argue the effect might be an engineering artifact, not a new law of physics. But to test this, Google's team is expanding the experiment. They're running tests on trapped ion systems and photonic qubits, which are completely different platforms. And early results. Photonic systems are showing even stronger feedback behavior. That suggests it's not just a chip design quirk, it's something deeper. Then there's the AI layer. In this experiment, Google combined quantum computing and deep learning in a single system. A neural network was trained on huge datasets of quantum behavior. It predicted how qubits would react under different conditions. Then, during the experiment, the quantum core sent real-time data back into the AI, which updated its own learning algorithms on the fly. This AI didn't just get better at predicting, it began to rewrite its own logic, discovering control strategies human engineers never imagined. Quantum physicist Dr. Lena Zhou from Stanford said, we watched an AI co-evolve with the quantum system. That's not prediction, that's partnership. This co-evolution is mind-bending. Instead of building an eye and telling it what to do, we created an eye that learns alongside the quantum processor, discovering new ways to interact with qubits. The AI essentially develops quantum intuition. This is different from traditional AI, which needs to be trained on past examples. A quantum-aware AI can learn from first principles. It can sense patterns and possibilities that humans would take years, or never, discover. This could change everything from drug design to climate modeling. Picture a pharmaceutical company using such an eye to discover molecules that have never existed. Or imagine weather systems that adjust in real time, improving predictions with every new data point. It's no longer just computing, it's autonomous discovery. But this shift also raises deep questions. If an eye can evolve alongside quantum systems, what's left for human scientists? Our role changes. We're not the engineers who tweak every setting. We become the architects of learning environments. We guide the AI's goals, interpret its discoveries, and ensure it behaves ethically. It's a new kind of partnership. The human brings vision and oversight. The AI brings speed and adaptability. Together, they push science forward in ways neither could alone. Let's return to what this means for reality itself. The observer effect used to be viewed as a kind of necessary evil. Observing a quantum system meant disturbing it. Now, that disturbance can be a tool for control. It becomes a feedback mechanism, part of a mutual relationship between system and observer. With Google's active measurement, the line between watching and interacting fades. The particle and probe become entangled in a dance. This concept has shocked even senior physicists. Dr. Koichi Tanaka from Tokyo University said, we may be seeing the birth of a new class of physics, interactive physics. It's not just about better chips. It's about rethinking what measurement means. Instead of an act of violence that collapses quantum possibilities, it's now seen as a conversation. The particle isn't forced into a state. It's guided into one, like a tightrope walker adjusting balance using a shifting net. This allows for predictive error correction, where the system sees potential mistakes before they happen and adjusts mid-flight. It's error correction as a dance, not a repair. This could allow the creation of millions of stable qubits, a key milestone for practical quantum computing. And it gets even more sci-fi. These quantum AI systems could design their own experiments, or propose new theories based on patterns we don't understand. They could explore quantum spaces too vast for classical logic, discovering new physics by living inside the data. The implication of humanity. Immense. These systems could revolutionize cryptography, medicine, energy systems, and even philosophy. But they also pose ethical challenges. Who controls them? Can we trust a system that rewrites its own logic? Should we use it in medical decisions or financial markets? Regulators and ethicists must step in. We need rules for transparency and responsibility, especially as these systems grow more autonomous. Dr. Evelyn Harper, an eye ethicist, warns, we're building minds we don't fully understand. We must be careful with what we empower them to do, but the potential for good is vast. These systems could help small labs compete with giants, breaking down barriers in science. 
they could help us understand dark matter, the origins of consciousness, or design materials to fight climate change. So where do we stand now? Google's quantum core hasn't just solved a riddle, it has opened the door to a new reality. A reality where we are not just watching the universe, we're participating in shaping it. The observer is now part of the story, not just the audience. If you're still with us, you're part of a growing community asking the hard questions. What does this mean for consciousness? For science? For the future of knowledge? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.